Well, hello and welcome to another video. Today, I'm gonna to teach you some really basic editing in iMovie on a Mac. So I was asked by someone at my church how to edit videos and obviously how to edit videos is almost a never ending thing. I'm still learning how to edit videos now and I've been doing it for a long time. But uh, what I think they really mean is how to use the basic functions of a particular program to edit videos. Uh, cut out the beginning, cut out the end, cut out some stuff in the middle maybe and just put the clips together. So I've decided to make this simple tutorial um, because it was easier to do it this way than to try and schedule a time to get together. And I thought, why not share with my YouTube audience? So I asked them what they were using and they said a Mac and they used iMovie. So I have never edited on a Mac before and I've never used iMovie before. Uh, so what I decided to do was just teach myself. I spent an hour or so um, just learning how to use the program, just its basic functions, how to cut clips and import clips and drag things around and then export, all that sort of basic stuff. So that's what this tutorial is going to be on, just the real basics on how to get yourself started using iMovie on a Mac. So first thing you want to do is launch iMovie. So go to your launch pad and find iMovie and get that going. Now the Mac I'm using is very, very old. So it's slow, but that's okay. With the magic of editing, I can cut out all the boring loading stuff like what's happening right now. Okay, once iMovie has loaded, this is what you will see. Um, if you've got any previous projects, you'll see them here. I've, this is the project that I did when I was just teaching myself how to use it. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on Create New. So that'll create a new project. We select Movie and it'll load up a timeline for us. Okay, once your timeline has loaded, you'll see something roundabout like this. But for now, what we wanna do as the first thing is we wanna import some videos. So you've recorded your stuff, you've taken the files off the camera, put it on your computer and save them wherever. So then what you wanna do is click on this import button up here and you can select the files you want from Finder uh, mine are just sitting in the downloads folder and you just need to find where you've saved yours. I would assume you would know where that is because you've saved it. So grab, grab your clips. Uh, you can select multiple uh, or you could do them one by one. Um, I'm just holding down shift and pressing the arrow key to select the clips. And then you click on import selected. That will then import the clips um, which you can see up here. So one thing to note with uh, iMovie is you can't actually select the resolution of your project. It automatically selects it for you based on the very first clip that you drag into the timeline. So probably most of you are probably working with 1080p movies taken off of your camera or your phone or whatever you've got. Um, so likely it'll be 1080p. If you do have some clips that are 720p or lower, uh, just mixed in amongst 1080p ones, you just got to drag in a 1080p clip or a 4K clip, depending on what you want to do um, first. So this one here I know is a 1080p clip and this one here I know is a 720p clip. So what I don't want to do is drag this one in first because that's a lower resolution and then my project's going to be locked to that. I don't know why they made it that way. Um, it seems silly to me, but Apple will be Apple. Uh, so let's just drag in this one first. So this way our clip's going to be, our settings of our project are going to be 1080p. So if we have a look over here, we'll see project settings 1080p. Great. We don't actually want to use this clip, so let's just get rid of it. But if they're all the same, you don't have to worry about it. So what we're going to do is we are going to just make a really, really simple short video about making some coffee in the morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this coffee clip in to start with. Now your clips probably have audio on them. My clips don't. So I need to also drag in some audio. Otherwise this coffee is going to sound well like nothing. So I've got this audio clip here. Let's play it back. 
and what you can do before you drag it in is drag to where you want the audio to start and drag where you want the audio to end roughly and then you can just drag in that bit down there. So now if we play back this bit of coffee it sort of makes sense. Okay so some things to note as you move your mouse along the timeline you'll see the preview changes with it. Um, my Mac is very old so it's struggling. My fans are kicking in at the moment because <laughs> it's probably overheating. Um, so you, it makes it easy for you to find where you want the clip to start. So let's say we want the clip to start there and we want to cut out the beginning. So what you do from there is you can go control click and you can say split clip. You'll have a look here on the right hand side. It also shows you the shortcut button for it, which is command B. So that splits the clip up and when we can just delete the beginning clip. Now if we play the clip from the beginning, it starts there. Let's say you've got a clip. Um, that's however long it is, 10 minutes long, and at two minutes you, you want to cut out like a 30 second portion of it, or even a couple of seconds, or whatever you want to do. So what you want to do is find the, the beginning of where you want to cut it out, and then Command B to split it, and then find the end of where you want to cut it out, Command B, and then delete the clip in the middle. Pretty easy. Um, and then if we play it back, you'll see that there is a bit of a cut. The coffee is not showing and then all of a sudden it's, you know, the cup is more full. So there's nothing you can really do about it if you don't have any other angles or other clips to put in place there, you're going to see the cut. But in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to grab this clip here. We're going to start it from about there and we're going to end it uh, about there. And we're going to drag this clip down and put it in between. So now when we play that back, coffee's filling up. Nice view of the sunrise while the coffee continues to pour. And then the clip continues to play. Now this audio clip is a bit too short, so we can just easily drag this out. So let's cut that there. We don't need to go in too much longer. Delete that. And then cut the audio as well. Okay, so what we're also going to want to do is change the volume of the audio when we're looking outside because it doesn't make sense that while we're away from the coffee machine, the volume is going to be the same. So what we want to do is find the beginning of our outdoor clip and click on the audio and just split it at that point and then find the end. So now this line here determines the volume of the audio. So you can go up to 100, 400% or you can go down to 0%. So for this, we're just going to go to about 14. That's fine. Now when we play it back, it's going to make a little bit more sense because the audio is going to drop while we're looking out the window. I mean, ideally we want to put some ambient noise probably in this. Um, let's see. Because we're looking out the window, I know that this is a bell. I got this ahead of time. So let's put in the bell clip. So we can drag this down onto a different audio layer. And we can make it the length of that. Now when we play this back, so to make that audio layer, I just dragged down lower than the other audio clips and then it popped it in there. But let, we're not, not going to go into multiple layers at this stage. This is just something I want to do. So that clip actually... I want it to start from there. Okay, that'll make a little bit more sense. It's just too blank. Cut to it. Hear the bell. Makes some sense. Cut back to the coffee filling up. Fantastic. We've just cut clips up and put them together. Now, what you can also do is uh, fade the video in and out. So go up to your transitions, uh, just up here we've got our media and then over on the right is the transitions. So cross dissolve, that's the one we want. So let's just drag that in front of our first clip and at the end of our last clip. And now when we play it back, it's gonna fade from black, play through, and then at the end it's gonna fade to black. Now that was a bit 
Um, a bit strange because uh, while it was black and fading in, the audio was not also fading. So what we can do is we can fade in our audio and how we do that is we grab this little circle here and we pull it to the right to fade it in and you'll see this little arc appears and then at the end we can pull this one to the right and fade it out. Now when we play the clips back the audio will fade in and out. So that makes a lot more sense. And there you have it. We've got a fade in at the beginning and a fade out at the end and we've got some clips cut up in between. So now what we want to do is we want to export the video to a file that can be then put up on YouTube or on Facebook or given to a friend or whatever you want to do with it. So first thing you need to do is make sure that you've got down here in the timeline selected. Um, you don't have like one of these audio clips or video clips up here selected because then you'll essentially be rendering them. So click down here, watch it back for one more time if that's what you want to do just to make sure that you're happy. Great, that looks good. And now up in the top right corner, there is a share button. So click on the share button and ignore everything except for the file button. Don't worry about, I know you might be wanting to put it to YouTube, but don't do it that way. Just select file and you will get this box appear. It'll automatically give it a name, uh, but we're gonna change the name to short coffee video. And then you can give it a description as well, if you like. Um, if you don't want a description, I would get rid of what they put in there by default. And I would also get rid of this silly iMovie tag. Now, format, you wanna have a video and audio, not just audio, obviously, unless that's what you want. And now here's the important stuff. So resolution, you want 1080p. You don't want 720p, and you don't want 540p. If, as I was saying at the beginning, the first clip you've dragged in is at a lower resolution, um, it will lock you out from exporting in a higher resolution. So the highest resolution it will let you export is the resolution of your project. So make sure you create the project and you drag in the first clip as the resolution you want to export it as. If you don't have a bun bunch of different resolutions, then don't worry about it. Just drag in your footage off of your camera, which is probably 1080p, and you'll be fine. So 1080p, you want to make sure that's selected. Um, unless you want to go 4K and you've got 4K clips in there, then export as 4K. Just the highest resolution it'll let you go is what you want. As for quality, if you're just uploading to YouTube or something, um, high quality is probably just what you want. Um, however, if you just want the best quality um, because you're doing something else with it, then you can select the ProRes option, but probably high is what you want. Uh, compress, you don't want faster, you want better quality. And then you just select next. It'll ask you what you want to call it. We're going to call it short coffee video because that's what we named our video. And it will ask you where you want to save it. So wherever you want to save it on the hard drive, choose what you want to do. I'm just going to do documents. And now it's going to save. And I think this little circle is the project bar show activity. Here we go. If you want to see what it's doing, click on this. Exporting my movie too. All right, it's doing its thing. Wait for it to complete. It reckons 12, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 4 minutes, 3 minutes. So in 3 minutes time, I'll have a video. Okay, once it's done, you'll have this little pop-up come and say, share successful, exporting your movie. It's just called my movie too, because that's what the project's called. Uh, was successful and you can click on show and it'll bring it up in finder so there it is in finder now we can open it up and watch our wonderfully rendered clip in full 1080p glory and that's it simple let's close that off head back into iMovie um, iMovie saves as you go, you don't have to constantly save it, so that's kind of a nice feature. And um, when you actually exit it, it'll ask you what you want to call your project. So if we go back to projects here, it's going to get us to name it. 
short coffee video. Um, now that project will sit in my timeline and whenever you open it up again, there it is. You can make more edits if you need to. But that's it. That's the basics of how you edit in iMovie. That's how you cut clips, that's how you import clips, and that's how you export and render the final video. Um, I hope that's the basics um, that people need to get started. Maybe I'll do some more advanced stuff in the future. And my camera's just run out of battery, so I will spin around this way and say hello to this video, which is camera, which is also about to run out of battery. Hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was useful. Um, yeah, have a good one.